up, peeps? Got a new DV or Blu-ray update here. Share with y'all. First up, we have the Purge election year. I got this the other day for a buck. The pawn shop I went to, their Blu-rays are three dollars, but it was like closing time. Someone was putting up the guns, and the main guy and another old guy was doing money, and I walked up and set it down, and the guy said one dollar. I thought. Huh? And then I pulled out a dollar and walked the fuck out of there. So the score there. They have uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. That's the last one I needed. Now I have all five of them. Kickboxer Vengeance. Kickboxer Remake. It's not that great, but I got it for a couple bucks, and uh, it does have Van Damme in it, so that's good. A new movie with him in it, but didn't appreciate him remaking this classic. But it was an okay movie and a good grab. Earth to Ego. I like this movie. I like uh, sci-fi horror movies with kids. Another one I like is uh, Super 8, which is similar. Jason Statham's Homefront. This is a good one. I enjoyed it. Blue Rizzle. Geo Storm. Me and my wife just got done streaming this online and thought it was pretty good. Then the next day when I went to the pawn shop, there it was in front of me, so I grabbed it. Arnold's End of Days. Always down to grab an Arnold if I see it. That's the pawn shop. My cousin gave me this. He had an extra copy. He asked me if I needed it. Kane, See No Evil 2. This is a good, good series. I enjoy one or two. I would like them to make a third one, make it a trilogy. Kane makes a good slasher. Good new age slasher. Screen Factory, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. My niece picked this up just because I said I enjoyed it. And told her if she ever saw it anywhere to pick it up for me. And she picked it up for herself. And said, and she ordered it off Amazon and said, This movie bored me. I didn't like it. You can have it. I was like, well, great, because I'm the one that wanted it. It's one of my favorite new horror movies. I wish the sequel would have got made. I guess they were working on it and could never get the funds for it. She also picked this up for me, which I already have, like the box set of. Uh... Yeah, I have most of them already, but I said, sure, why not? She picked it up, sent me a message on Facebook, asked if I wanted it. Phantom Menace on Steelbook. Pretty cool. had this one. Return of the Jedi. So I guess I'm going to collect these, but uh, found these today. Killer fucking deal. I don't know how much they would have charged for it. Uh, they usually charge $3 for their Blu-rays, but since this has so many discs in it, I don't know how much they would have charged for it, but I just sit this and the other one that I found up on the counter and said I have two Blu-rays, so they charge me two bucks a piece. So I got both of these. I got the uh, original old school ones a while back for like a buck fifty or something during Black Friday last year at Cashland. Found this one today. Like I said, I set this one and the other one down. Just said I have two Blu-rays and they charged me two bucks. The uh, prequel trilogy. And this is the one I found last year, so now I have a ball. On Blu-ray. Fucking awesome. 
And the last one that I picked up at the Star Wars is the Man with No Name Trilogy, Clint Eastwood. Complete trilogy on Blu-ray. Like I said, I don't know if they would have charged any more than $2 because there's more than one movie. But I got it for 2 bucks. That's what I picked up. Peace.